It's locked. Wait until later? I'm sorry, it can't. There's been a kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. What do you mean? The call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Ghost hunters, you mean? So people think it's haunted? Uh-uh. They know. Jessalyn needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you is dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange a ticket. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. Well, then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony been reject, Harper. But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Has ever since the night the fire took her. Take care now. Jessel? Excuse me? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Is this Jessalyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. Were you and Jessalyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. Goodbye. Bye. It looks like the painting is missing. What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. Hmm.
You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. I know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. She'll have calmed down a bit by now. I hope. Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no. Not yet, at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Well, why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Why is everyone here? Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. The police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. What's the story with the locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. I'd better get going. Take care. You're not Savannah. No, but you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. I can handle myself just fine. You're just a kid. You could say the same thing about Jessalyn. True enough. Say what suits you. Won't make the nights around here any shorter. Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. 
Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably real people? No. What do you think of Colton? I do not like that shifty little punk, but I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin. Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Do you know Savannah? I did, once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading, like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, what is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected, but then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. I'd better get going. Bye. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married to the day they died. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents, may they rest in peace. It's locked. Hmm. 
Hmm. This must be the missing painting. Hmm. That didn't sound good. Time to recharge the battery. It's not charged yet. All right, let's see if all those oranges did the trick. Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs and that was that. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. 
In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. Goodbye. Find Jess. Hmm. Hmm. There's something back there. What is that? Are those graves? Nancy. Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact... Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. Hi. Huh. What do you think of Clara? She's... She's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. You're holding something back. So what if I am? Want to hear a ghost? Check it out. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes, I advise against it. Well, why? It's not a fun place and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did you go to jail? I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. I'd really like to know. The nerve you got. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away, the stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back, over and over again until they just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace, but the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. 
I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Nothing for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. That's when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I don't know. Yep, same here. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Goodbye. Later. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? Who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Better check out what's going on upstairs.
make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. almost off the charts. This must be the place. Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. It was a sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. Harper Stone. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. She'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. You sure do like creeping around. You don't seem like a bad guy. Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? I do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit, and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked. Right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines, that's true too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. I'd better get going. Get on out of here now.
Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Tell me, who are you? Nancy, I am here to help Jesslyn. Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare you. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. You can't scare me. Help me find Jesslyn or get out of the way. Very good. Remove the blindfold. Just who are you? Harper, can I trust you? Can you be trusted? Well, that depends. Can you be trusted? That's a no now, isn't it? You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. That would be at the top of my list of questions, yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why not? It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire and the fire will build some smoke and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing, pausing for effect. Okay. Could you tell me now? A moment, hon. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I'm a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end, and I threw the little runts down a well. You what? Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny, ah, help, I'm in a well. So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. I... Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. Go now. Hmm, I should look for those portraits. must be what that note was referring to. All right, now to find all the others.
That's it. Now I should be able to figure out what the code means. That's it. How do I get this working again? I need to put the combs on first. Fixed it. Hmm. That's all of the seeds. I have to find a way to balance these scales.
It might be Jessalyn's. Family tree. Hmm, might come in handy. Quick, I haven't got all day. Can you tell me a little more about Clara? I could, but as a lover of the written word, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? Why are you here? Jessalyn, poor little Jessie Lamb has vanished, they say. Can't have that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. Are you trying to find Jessalyn? Yes. Maybe you could help me out. You want my help? I'm not a helper. Oh, if you keep my secret, then I'll help. What do you know about Clara? She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not if you really look. Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. What exactly did her ghost say? Boo. Huh. Not my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, get out. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you and she wants you to leave. This house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? No. Maybe you should not use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. Tell me about Charlotte. She was my big sister. Do you really think she's... I know. How do you know? No, no more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore. I'm sorry I asked. You just didn't know what you were asking. I lost my mom when I was a girl. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. But sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. Looks like it's missing a piece. Looks like I need to figure out the password.
Nancy. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some... Well, hon, he had some issues, but they worked through them. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What did you mean? To put it delicately, family issues. Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into the factory, he damaged thousands of dollars of equipment, and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though, and he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges, but once the ball got rolling, I lost control of it. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... Oh, it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. Can you tell me anything about your father that might be relevant? Why would you ask me about my father? You know, no stone unturned, pursue all angles. I don't believe you. Fine. I never knew who my daddy was. Happy to hear me say that? I promise I didn't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Why didn't your mother ever tell you? I think one day she was going to tell me. But she didn't live to get the chance. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. Beauregard Thornton, mean old codger. Virginia, my mother. Rest her soul. Can you tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, daddy.
Nancy. I've heard about the ghost, but can you tell me anything about the real Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. She died here. Join the old family, as he used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. It does sound a little eerie. That was back when Thornton Hall was pretty. Now, I don't even want to entertain the thought. Did your mother say much else about the ghosts here? Too much. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces being so sad. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief that Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter, real mean and nasty. Until they forget everything that made them human. And then they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. The others? The lost souls from an accident that happened here years back. Mama called them hungry shadows. Why? I don't want to know. She said they were all tangled together, lost and scared and mean. My mama was a good woman, but dang if she didn't scare me half to death with a regularity. There's a strange woman in the basement. What? That can't be right. I swear Harper was there. Nancy, I've got enough to deal with. Stop playing games or I'm going to have to ask you to leave.
You are such a brat. Shh, shh. Not falling for it again. No, Patty, I'm serious. Listen. Footsteps. I don't hear them. Maybe it was the weed. That is not the title of this program. Oh, and I suppose you have a better name. With this ring, I the dead. No, that's weird, and you're weird for saying it. We're using mine. I'm Jessalyn Tara Thornton. And I'm Addison Abomination Hammond. And this is Ghost Talker Tours. This week, we're creeping into Thornton Hall, the most haunted... We're here to find... Ah! Oh, that is a spider! It is in my hair! I don't even want to be alive anymore! Please just kill me! Got it! Look there. There it goes! Well, on the bright side, we can check spiders off the list. <sighs> that was the Black Widow! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Probably just gave it the scare of its life. It's not going to bother us. It's her or me! <sighs> Where are we going? Are you sure you want to know? I'm just going to pretend it's a top-secret, really nice hotel. We're looking for the ruins where sharks... Let's just grab it in the AM, unless you want to go one-on-one -on -one with our little friend down there. Where are we going? Are you sure you want to know? I'm just going to pretend it's a top-secret, really nice hotel. We're looking for the ruins where Charlotte died. Remember when Elizabeth got married and we all watched rom-coms and ate caramel corn? I was just thinking, like, at no point that evening was I like, I'll die here! It just didn't come up. Maybe not for you, but two movies in, I was thinking fondly about my own mortality. What's that say? The serpent rests in the center on the two handles. I think I know what that's about. Whoa, buddy system, Jess, where are you going? I know you're freaking out. I promise this will be quick. Are all of those coffins occupado? I gotta go outside. Just two seconds. There's some sort of message in the window. Yeah, I know. It says, this building is for dead people only. Jess? Jessalyn? This isn't funny. Where are you? Jesse? I don't want to be alone. Please stop. Please. Please come back. This isn't funny. I'm too scared. I don't understand. Are you okay? Jess, if this is a prank, it's not funny. Not funny! Jess, you're really scaring me. Say something! I said, leave me alone. Now! Hey. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. <sighs> I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there. We became best friends. 
Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... Well, what do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. Do you know much about Harper? I heard she's in some psych hospital or something. But that's all I know. I saw her around once in a while when I was a kid, but I don't remember much. Did Jessalyn ever say anything about her? Just that she seemed scared of her. Maybe they had a past. But I don't know. I'd better get going. Later. I need to follow the instructions from the note. What was I supposed to think? One day you were just gone. I should listen. Lexi. And I hope you understand how much that makes me hate you right now. Who is Lexi? I better get some rest. No offense, but you sound really tired. Been burning the midnight oil at both ends? Feels like it. I must have slept through the day. <sighs> but I still feel exhausted. Maybe you should pace yourself a bit. I know. Wait, hang on. Hang on? Why? Is there a ghost? No, I see something. Uh, call you back later. We could have found a way. It's Colton. I'd better listen. Lexi, I know you still care about me. I want to see you when this is all over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. Hey, did you listen in on my call? Who is Lexi? What are you talking about? The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? I think she is someone important to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiancé is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi... You want a conversation? Fine. 
I love Lexi. I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. That was based on a lie. Clara, my parents, even Jesselyn. They were all in on it. Jesselyn? Are you sure? She'd have to be. I mean... I haven't considered that she might not be yet. Before Jess and I got together, I was with Lexi. Until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then, she was gone. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away, and Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune, and Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? To try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. So, things would really work out for you if Jesslyn just disappeared. Do you really want to ask me that? Yes, I do. Go away! Now! I better copy this design. This looks like the picture from the camera. Isn't just my imagination. There's something down there. Hmm. Got it. The numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly. Something's not quite right. Can't check, can't check that off yet. I had to come out here because of you. I still don't understand why you're hiding. 
You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. I trust them far more than you. Your funeral. You can tell them where I am, but I will always be one step ahead of you. Always. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? At this point, yes. You do? Well then, gotta fly. If I can match the colors on the sides of each piece, I should be able to get this back in order. Those colors along the bottom must be why Beauregard's tombstone is important.
Can't check that off yet. There must be something that will show me what shape opens the coffin. Something is missing. Hmm. Hmm. Hi there. Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Dunno. The night before I saw her take off into the night holding this little package like it was precious to her. The look on her face. I should have stopped her, said, What is wrong? Here, take this. Is this Charlotte's? Yes. Do you know what this is? Can you tell me what it's for? Maybe that's enough for now. What can you tell me about Charlotte? Charlotte was something special. Just like our Jesslyn. She had the most beautiful voice. When she sang, it was like sunlight busting through fog. Sounds like you were close. She was the talented one of the bunch. You can still hear her sing, if you stop to listen in the quiet, dark places. Clara told me that she never intended for you to go to jail. Don't believe that. Why not? Because it ain't true. She used to come visit just to laugh at me through the glass. That was the price of hearing about home. Did Clara get along with Charlotte and Harper when she was younger? They all got along famously. Until the night of the fire. What exactly happened? Charlotte was getting ready for her big 21st birthday ball and at the last minute went off to what is now the ruins. No one knows what started the fire. After that, what about Clara and Harper? Clara grew up pretty fast, but Harper, she got lost in that night and never got found. What happened to Charlotte and Harper's parents? Plane crash. Seems like there's a lot of misfortune in the family. Bad blood brings bad luck. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't need belief. Why not? I have proof. E.V.P. Here's some creepy things from time to time. Check it out whenever you want. If you got the nerve. What made you call Savannah? Jessalyn didn't run away. And she wasn't kidnapped. Savannah seemed to think you'd be disappointed she didn't come here. Any reason why? Savannah's talking to you about me? Yeah, she's helping you with the case. Don't suppose you could give me your number? Sure, it's 404-555-4478. Just so you know, she's gonna be mad at you for giving me this number. She'll get over it. Why? What are you gonna do? Do? Nothing. Back long time ago. We, um, she and I were something of a couple, long time ago. Been a long time since we talked. I think you're just trying to scare me away. Girl? Nancy. Girl. Fear ain't some feeling to overcome, especially not here. That prickly feeling you get in that old house, that means something dark is whispering your name. Something dark? Trust me, that's as close as you want to get. I'd better get going. Later.
Still have to do that. Did that. That's done. Check, can't, can't, check, that's, st still, did, check, can't, did that, that, did, that, that, ha did, can't check that off yet. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you with the movie. I know, but just give me a minute. Seeing that just, well, it, it made my head hurt worse. I keep seeing it when I close my eyes. This looks like some sort of code.
Ethel's grave. It must be tied into that picture in the corner somehow. This should come in handy. This must be Ethel's grave.
The missing piece. Now this key should work. What's up? Why is Lexi so important? I've always felt a little... out of step with the world. When I met Lexi, it's like everything snapped into place. I don't know how else to put it. And it wasn't the same with Jessalyn? I do love her. But not in the way I tried to. Jess is my best friend, and always will be. If she ever comes home, and if she ever forgives me. You don't think Jesslyn's coming back, do you? What are you implying? Nothing. Just observing. You want to know the truth so bad? Yeah, I'm afraid she's never coming back. Happy? I'm going to need to find something that will explain this. I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. She is in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. Hello. Can you tell me a little about Harper? It seems like you two really didn't get along. She blamed me for what happened to Charlotte. Blamed you? On some level, she was convinced it was me. I let it go at first. She was just torn to shreds about the whole thing. But the more time went by, the more disturbed she got. She was obsessed with the idea that I had stolen part of Charlotte's locket. What kind of locket? I never figured out what she was talking about. One night, she followed me out onto the widow's walk. When I got near the railing, she pushed, and I fell. By the time I got out of the hospital, she was gone. I can't say I wasn't relieved. Colton thinks he was forced into the relationship with Jessalyn. Forced? Please. Jessie's a gem. Any man be lucky to get the time of day from her. Don't tell a soul about this, but Colton, he's got problems. Nothing big, so don't go jumping to conclusions. But his parents told me right away he's always struggled a little. He's a smart boy, but these fits of paranoia... Take hold of him now and again. Did that ever worry you, considering he was dating your daughter? A mother always worries. I'm not saying Colton is crazy. I'm saying give him some space. He's had his troubles. I saw Charlotte. Pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah, you could say that. Still, there must be some sort of explanation. You might be right. Just... Just what? I don't know. This old house is playing tricks on my head. I'd better get going.